Well, I'm all for Christmas All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Vlog a Day. How excited are we? <laughs> I am uh, having some hot coffee this morning, although actually it, um, I think it's supposed to get nicer. Well, not really nicer today. So it's sort of an odd day. It's supposed to get to like 55 or something, but not until eight, nine o'clock at night, which is so odd because, you know, normally like the hottest part of the day is, you know, like mid afternoon, you know, like three o'clock, four o'clock, something like that. But yeah, it's like in the forties until later. So I don't know, we must have like a warm front coming in probably, I assume. Anyway, so I am enjoying a little hot coffee. Uh, for those of you who are not like Starbucks fans, this is the, this year's holiday cup, so I don't remember when it was, like maybe a week or so ago, whenever they kicked off the holiday, their holiday cups. If you buy a holiday drink, you get one of these reusable plastic holiday cups for free. So of course I had to partake. <laughs> and besides it made it, you know, so I could have a nice hot drink cup thing here in the uh, temporary housing. So anyway, what is on the agenda for today? I think because it's supposed to start raining like kind of like mid afternoon, I think like around three or four, I'm going to try to get ready here somewhat quickly. I mean, I'm going to obviously enjoy my coffee first. And then I think we might go down to Soho and go to Scent Bar. I think is what it's called. Scent and I think it's called Scent, Scent Bar NYC. So if you, you guys know, I'm a huge fragrance fan. I wouldn't say my, um, well, I don't know. I was gonna say, I'm not sure that my love for fragrance is as strong as my love for handbags, but it's, it's it might be up there. <laughs> and you know, you guys, I've totally, completely failed on my not buying any fragrances this year. Yeah, that just, that went to hell in a handbag like a long time ago. So, in fact, I, I I might have bought another one that may or may not have been delivered yesterday. But anyway, my point is, is that um, Scent Bar NYC is actually part of Lucky Scent, which is, I think, one of the biggest, like, online fragrance sellers. And they have a couple of actually in-person, like, brick-and-mortar boutiques. There's one here. I Pretty sure there's one at least one in LA maybe two in LA and I've never been and the last couple times we like just even visited New York I meant to go down to the store but I never got a chance so I thought that that might be a fun thing to do today because I've been I kind of been getting into watching fragrance videos again which again is very very dangerous because you hear then about all the new releases and you know, the people that you follow, if you happen to like have sort of similar scent profile, you know, you like similar profi scent profiles and they recommend something, then you're like, oh, well, I need to smell that too. <laughs> so anyway, I just thought it would be a fun thing to do. Like I said, something that I have yet to do since living here in New York and I thought I would take you with me. So I, like I said, I'm going to drink my coffee and then I will get ready and we will head off to Soho. All right, so we are out and about. As I mentioned in the previous Get Ready With Me, we're in a different part of town right now. So I'm actually walking on 34th Street towards Lexington. So I'm walking west, uh, goes Lexington, 
<laughs> I have to think about that. Lexington Park, Madison, Fifth, and then here next is Broadway, and that is where 34th and Herald Square is, like where the big Macy's is, etc. So I am walking to Lexington to catch the M103, which is a bus. The interesting thing about where we are is it is not super close to any subway line. So closest subway line is 30, I think it's 32nd and Park. Um, so there's actually quite a few more bus options in this area than subway. So anyway, I'm just getting to 2nd Avenue right now. Definitely quite a few people on the street. It's pretty, not a great day. It's overcast and um, like I said, gonna rain at some point. I do have my umbrella. So hopefully that means it won't rain because I'm prepared. If I didn't have my umbrella, Murphy's Law would say it would absolutely rain. But since I have it, maybe it won't, you never know. But have it just in case. So we're gonna head down to Soho. Bent Bar NYC is what it's called. And it's on Elizabeth Street, just north of, I think just north of Houston. Maybe it's south of Houston. I can't remember. Anyway, but yeah, let's go see what fabulous new fragrances we can find. Okay, so we are down on Elizabeth. I am surprised that I've never seen this place that we're going to before because this is down near the Cezanne store, which I've been to several times which I think is what maybe this line is for up here. And then there's a Bosch store, as you can see. Yeah, I think these people are, I don't know what they're doing. I guess they're in line. But I've walked by here several times and honestly never noticed it. So it should be up here. Here we are. Oh my god, it does smell like Very overwhelming scent wise. Okay, so I just stepped outside to try these because I mean it's the, obviously the amount of fragrance that's in that store is overwhelming. So from top to bottom, this is Montal Intense Cafe. This is a brand new fragrance by Fragrance Du Bois, who I love their Minouet de Demi fragrance. This really smells like a Fragrance Du Bois fragrance. It definitely has the DNA, it's called Lovers. This is uh, GDT, I'm trying to remember what that is. Uh, Bianco, oh, this is one they actually do not have in, it's completely sold out, so I just wanted to smell it, so actually I should probably take this out, because it won't be back until, like, March. This is, um, BDK Vanille Leather, sorry, I had to abbreviate on these, this is BDK Tobacco Rose, and then this is Fragrance Dubois Cavour, and that is also a brand new fragrance that they launched with Lovers, so those are the ones that I am trying and uh, we'll see if any of them come home with me. So this is the GDT Bianco Latte, which like I said, is not available right now, but it's a really milky, sort of lactonic vanilla. Oh, it's really, really good. I will definitely look for this when it comes back out. I think this would be great layered. So this is Montal Intense Cafe. This is sort of an OG fragrance, a classic for the Montal house. You can definitely smell the coffee, or probably tonka bean maybe in that. Yeah, good. I don't know if it's my favorite though. Okay, this is the fragrance to Wall Lovers. Oh, this smells amazing to me, but I almost feel like maybe this sort of smells like food for greatness that I have on like literally right now, but I just looked at Fragrantica to see, so one of the things I really like about Fragrantica is there's a section of it where it's people like kind of vote on what the fragrance reminds them of or like, you know, smells very similar to. And none of the fragrances that anybody has voted for, now I realize that this is a new fragrance, so, you know, it doesn't have a whole lot of like data on it yet, but I don't, 
have any of the fragrances that are listed there. So, but this does remind me. Ooh, of something that I really, really like this. Really like this. I have to see if I can. I don't think that this is part of their sale, but we'll see. Okay, the next one is uh, BDK Vanille Leather. Again, probably not probably not a favorite so I think we can put this to the side and this is to back rose also by BDK definitely a rose I mean there's definitely a rose scent never been a huge rose lover but this is nice but again I don't know that it's a love and again this is the uh, fragrance de bois cover part of the new collection also different. I think there might be a little bit of kind of a woody at the end as it dries down. I did not really like it that much when she first sprayed it, but the dry down is really nice. Hmm. Wow. Really nice. Both of these two fragrance de bois ones are really, really nice fragrances. I do a very quick OOTD since I'm in a fitting room, as you can see. This is from the anniversary sale, and then these pants are the cargo sweatpants, basically cargo joggers from Gap. So they actually have a little toggle here, so you can actually cinch them to make them like a jogger style. But I personally am a wide leg girl, so really, really like these. They're super comfortable, and on a daylight today where it's rainy and just not the best weather, they're super comfy. So anyway, I am going to try on this beautiful pink, I think it's an alpaca, like oversized cardigan. And then I just grabbed a white t-shirt to just try on with it because I didn't want to put it over this and get pink fuzz probably all over my sweater. So anyway, let's try this on. Love the color. Eight. Eight. I just, I mean, I realized that I would never wear them, wear this with these cargo sweatpants jogger things, but yeah, I just don't know what I would wear it with. I love the color though. It's so pretty. But yeah, it's a no for me. I did actually just recently order a V-neck cashmere sweater from Nordstrom in this color. So I think that will satisfy my like fuchsia color desire for like a winter cozy sweater. Um, so yeah, this is a no for me, dog. I guess I also should have told you that I'm at Everlane. Forgot to tell you that. Anyway, wearing just my black, this from Gap. Just like an oversized wool coat and my trusty Prada. What is this, you guys? I always forget. Prada Re Edition 2005. You guys, I have used the heck out of this bag because of inclement weather. It is probably, I wouldn't say it's my number one used bag, but it's been used a lot. Like anytime I think it's going to be bad weather, I grab this bag. So that was a definitely a good, very good investment, at least for me, with my lifestyle. So I'm actually on my way to a pop-up for La Lagui Beaumont, which is a British brand that is doing a pop-up here in New York. So I'm very excited. I'm going to take you along with me. I did reach out to the PR team who is in charge of the pump-up and asked if I could film and they actually made arrangements for me to meet with Lalaki, who is the owner and founder and who is here. So I'm super excited to introduce you to her. Hopefully she'll be okay being on camera. We'll see. Uh, but I'm excited to take you with and to see what their bags are all about. I know Steph at Handbagaholic is really, really a fan of their bags and has been to one of their boutiques in London. I unfortunately did not get a chance to go when I was there, but I'm thrilled that they're here. So let's go. As you remove that snow, whatever we do, we will be all right. These holiday wonders will open your mind. May all your wishes tonight come true. Love I live, the dream I know This Christmas I only wanna be close to you Well, 
we have our, our, our two shapes, shapes and I mean they're actually the same shape. We have other styles, but this is principally what we sell. We started, I think, probably with this one called Express Shape, which is very, very really? popular and very much sort of associated with the brand. And we have that in both of our, our Fonte, which is the more simple style with just one lock, and our Maya style, which has the central lock, and then these two. Um, magnetic, which is great because they just it just sort of finds itself. You can leave them open, you can do that, or it just goes back on there to be, to be neat. So the East West was actually the first design, is that? It probably was. Um, That's interesting because so many brands, it's what they're doing now. It's not what they started with. So you, you're leading the pack. <laughs> It's, it's, it really is something that was was very special to us, which is really nice. And then we, we have the menu, which is many bags of it, it ranges. Um, and then what we found is that people were saying, well, we love that, but it's just a bit too small. So we then introduced the midi size. And the midi size is just brilliant because you can get everything you need in it unless you unless you I think it's good to have shoes in there. Right. <laughs> but, um, you know, you can get your makeup and your keys and your purse and your, you know, it's, it's really, it's really good. So that size now is probably our most popular. Um, and then we have the large, which is not so large. It's, you know, it's really quite a Oh, no, it's really a medium, I would say. So that's it's lovely. You, you can't quite you get the shoes even in that, but you can get most things in that. <laughs> And then obviously it's got like um, body, so if you want it. So, yeah, yeah, the two have sort of developed, and then we introduced the touch um, on the front. I change a lock, and lock um, just and as a sort of, you know, it, it can be a day so bag. It's big enough bag. to be a day bag. And it's got its oh, and it's got a sort of, okay. And very nice. So you can do that as a, as a day bag, or it's, you know, it's very yeah. elegant, yeah. just as a, as a touch. It's larger than quite a lot of yeah, touches, so but I quite like that. And it's even a I think. It's also have our silver bead, which is very much, you know, this is um, very much very, you know, um, vintage sort of details mm -hmm. with, the, with the side pockets and the central clasp. And oh, a little say, French. I have to say, I just love this bag. I completely love it. I think it's everything very, it, it's very sort of traditional and elegant. Yes, and, you know, very ladylike. Very ladylike indeed. So this is kind of, it's kind of my, I, you know, I, I do, I love ladylike things. And then we have one other shape, which is the Odette, which has the, you know, the, the extra um, uh, piece in the side because it's in two compartments okay. with a zip in the middle, which is, um, it's actually been a very popular style in the UK. Um, but it's we have a lot of so as I was saying earlier, we have a lot of customers in the Middle East, and they don't go for this shape for some reason. They like the other choice. Interesting. We, we don't have that sort of you know, haven't expanded the family as we have with the others. So um, that's kind of it. We, we we have lots of new things coming along, however. So um, very exciting to come back here again. We've got some of those. Awesome. That's fantastic. So this is the Fontaine in the croc embossed black. It's a beautiful bag. friends welcome to some part of a vlog I never know when they stop and when they start guys sorry uh, as you can see I'm still a little under the weather but needed to get out of the house <laughs> and I I'm actually feeling fairly fine still a little congested and obviously my voice is still not quite back to where it normally is but like I said, I haven't been out of the house since Thursday. It's Sunday. I just, I needed to see the sun, like right there. Um, anyway, I'm on my way to Saks because I need to do a return. And I'm going to try on some boots there, probably. 
maybe go up to Bergdorf to try them on if they don't have them at Saks. But I haven't been to Saks in a while, so I thought I would take you along. And then obviously if I go to Bergdorf's, I will show you around there as well. Because lots of different, you know, gift card events and bonus points events going on right now. I will probably actually go to Nordstrom because Nordstrom is having triple points right now, which means I get nine points per dollar on what I spend. So a couple things there that I think I want to pick up for gifts potentially and something for myself. So anyway, let's see what today brings us. Mm, so Sax is starting to get their Christmas market. Look at this cute little, cute little Brandon Blackwood little clutch that it's very weighty. That sparkly little number. And some Stella McCartney over here. Burberry. We're in sort of the lesser brand, I guess, area. But here we've got a holiday market looking so festive. Certainly uh, nothing to rival Herod's at all, but pretty nonetheless. These pretty ornaments. Love this whole white tree. Oh, I like these silver ones with the snowflakes and these silver ones very pretty <clears throat> some pretty snow globes <laughs> very nice it's actually also a music box, at least that one is. This one is not. This one actually has a music feature on it. Ah, and here we have our obligatory Hanukkah little setup here. Let's see what these are. Looks like some coasters, some beaded coasters. Oy vey star. It's cute. Uh, looks like this is a Sugar Fina eight night tasting. That's cute. A bigger one and then this is a candy bento box. Got some beaded pillows down here. Cute. I was hoping they maybe had one of these open so you could see what it is but you can't. Oh, I like these purple ones too. There's that coach heart bag. Cute. Got some Mark Jacobs over here. And of course, Longchamp. Chloe over here. <laughs> Sunglass section. Some Sachet, Dolce and Gabbana. Party outfit. This black dress is stunning. This is. Maria Lucia something. Something with an H. Can't read the last word. Let's see. That. Beautiful decorations in Saks. Of course, they won't do the actual lighting of the building until a couple days before Thanksgiving. Get Louis' windows. Look at 
that pretty sparkly bag. Interesting dress. Got some go one fours there. Merry Christmas, baby. Rain is coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Merry Christmas, honey. Yeah. The snowman's dusting off his hat. On the show for everybody to give them a smile that lasts another year. There's something that happens when sleigh bells are ringing when December is when the children are singing. Yeah. It's Merry Christmas, baby. So this gorgeous burgundy lizard, Petite Peekaboo, is part of their new latest fall winter drop at Fendi. It is an absolutely gorgeous bag. I just can't decide if I really love the petite size or not. Like I love the way it looks, but functionally I think I would just struggle with it. So while he went to go get some of the newer pieces that weren't even on the floor yet, I filmed a little for you all. I think this neutral wall, Jamie at Lux Petite would absolutely die for. And then of course, ugh, this fuchsia sequin bag is still pulling at my heartstrings. And that was my other fuchsia bag that I had just bought, but I love this wall with the fuchsia. And then here's a few little more neutrals of the creams and blacks. And this was from an upcoming drop. It is the dark, dark evergreen and an absolutely beautiful ostrich. Hey friends, it is Advent calendar time. I have Hannah here with me, but first I'm going to show you the two Advent calendars that we have for this year. I only got two this year, and one is a 12-day. Hannah's doing bubble wrap if you're hearing that in the background, and then the other one is a, I don't know if it's 24 or 25, we'll see, but let me flip the camera around and I will show you them, and then Hannah will do her job. All right, so you, as you can see here, we have the Trader Joe's 12 Days of Beauty, a curated beauty collection. Anna apparently knows what's in this. I don't remember all of it. But she doesn't remember, apparently. And then this beautiful looking box is, as I think I mentioned, the Molten Brown. So this is what, yeah, it's very, very pretty. It's a beautiful box, definitely gonna keep this in use it for something else, but yeah, so that's what that looks like. So we will do, today is actually December 2nd, so we will do two of the Molten Brown, and then we'll just do one of the Days of Beauty. So, would you like to come join Hannah Banana? Yeah, once I see, I'll probably remember, but there's one. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. The numbers are not easy to see, I'll say that. Oh, this one. Okay, very big for them. Oh. Okay, this one. What is it, Anna? 
a Brazilian nut hair mask with a shea butter. Oh, that would probably be good. Mm -hmm. I could use a hair mask actually. Very nice. You All right. I should what? Oh, we're we'll doing two, right? No, no, no. We're only doing one at that one. We're doing two in the molten brown. Oh, that sounds fun. It's not like a punch ball. Oh, it's a very big perfume for a. I don't think that's a perfume. Oh, is it a body oil? I think it's maybe a shower gel. Maybe. I think so. It smells like um. Very holiday. I think it says on the bottom. Can you put the top back on so I don't... Oh, wait, it's not. I know, but... Can you look to see what the fragrance mm -hmm. is? Oh, yeah. The, it's a mandarin and spice. I can tell. Yeah. Spice. Spice. It smells good. Mm -hmm. So do we think that's a shower gel? Too. Think it's so. like an ornament, Hannah. Yeah. We could hang it on our tree that we're going to be getting. This one's actually a perfume. This is a perfume company? Uh, it's fragrance? Bath and Body Products. Orange and bergamot. Okay, that's the same as my shower gel that I have right now. So is it not a perfume? What? That is a perfume, yes. There's like, I think there's like five or six perfumes in this. Not my favorite. Oh, I like it as a body. Um, I, only, I only like orange scents, so, or like fruit scents so much. Well, that's orange and bergamot. Yeah, I really like it. Yeah. Well, then you wouldn't like the shower gel either, probably. But no, Daddy and Nick and I really like the shower gel. We all have it. What? We all have the shower gel. It's what's in our bathroom right now. And then you have to vote, remember? Vote what? You always give your favorite. Oh, this one? Oh, out of, of everything? Yes, remember? Well, I don't know anything about the hair mask, so I have to say this. Okay, so your favorite is the... Shower gel. All right. So there you have it. Hannah has voted. She's now left. Uh, she's come back into her room. So she voted for the. I'll show you. She voted for the molten brown. This is the. What did she say? Marvelous Mandarin and Spice Bath and Shower Gel. So that was her favorite. We don't really know anything about the mask, but it's made with shea butter. Probably good. And then obviously we've got the Molten Brown fragrance, which I don't know, maybe David will like that. I'll have to spray it and see what I think. I tested it when I was in the Molten Brown boutique. Like I said, not my favorite as an actual fragrance, like on the skin, but I really, really like the shower gel, like I said, so anyway. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll be back with yet another Advent calendar probably tomorrow. It's Advent calendar time. We're in my bedroom this time, so we're out of the living room. And Hannah will do the honors here in a moment. Let's just do something on our phone first. Okay. That's gonna be three today. Mm hmm. What is this? It just says the brands. Yeah. Oh, I think it's the, to oh, put the like perfume in, it's the atomizer. Yeah, it's the travel. Do you still have it? Uh-huh. Oh yeah, why do you need this? To make it fancy. <laughs> and then I think maybe you take the top off. Is it spray too or something? No, you just, it just uh -oh. goes like that. So then you have a travel. And I guess you, oh, you can go and like now that. you, yes, and then you do it. Not my favorite. Do you want me to keep it like this? Sure. Okay. Well, when we only do one, you can only have one favorite. Because <laughs> they're... I like that it magnetizes. Oh, does it have a magnetic top? Ah, yeah. that's very satisfying. Yes, it does. So do we like it because of that? I know you don't like the fragrance that's yeah. in it. So yeah. But, yeah. but you like the thing itself. Mm-hmm. Very good. Mm. Have you not seen that? Mm -hmm. Hannah just discovered my Winters. winter key pouch from Louis Vuitton. It's called the oh, Christmas so the Animation. Coins. You do have coins though. Yes. And then my keys will go on there, but I didn't put them on. 
And so Vivian, this is Vivian. And then I did, now I remember his name now. It's, oh, except actually now, names? yeah, except now I'm not going to remember. Is it like Gustav maybe? Something like that. And then this is like Petunia or something. But Vivian is the, the mascot. Well, there you have it, guys. Third day of vlog a day, third day of the advent calendars is done. And I think this is going to be the end of this particular vlog. So if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It does help the YouTube algorithm. And we would love to have you here coming back to us. Subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. I'm almost to 3000. And like I said, I'm trying to get there by the end of the month. And I have a very special unboxing when I do. So if you can help me get to that number, I would be greatly appreciative. Click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload videos. And if you haven't had enough of me yet, I'll pop another video up here for you to watch. And wherever you are, I hope you are having an amazing day or evening. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. Every Goodbye. There's something that happens when something that happens when December ends when December ends yeah. Oh, it's Merry Christmas, baby. Merry Christmas, baby.